Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to get the size of all databases in SQL Server and export the results to CSV file. So recently I got a question from one of my subscribers, Sohil Khan and he asked to make a video on this particular topic. So let's jump to the demo. I have this SQL Server 2019 instance and at the moment I got some databases here. So I want to get the size of all databases in MB and in GB as well. So I already have a script that can get the size of the databases. So let me execute this particular script here and show you what kind of result it will present. So you can see that uh, these are the name of the databases. There are 10 databases at the machine right now. And this is the size of the databases in MB. And this is the size of the databases in GB. So my databases are very small. Only the SSI database size is 848 MB. So that's why the size in GB is coming as zero. So what I can do, I can create an SSIS package and export the data to the CSV file. So this is my blank SSIS package and because we want to export the data to CSV file, so I can just use the data flow task here. And I can just double click the data flow task. Because our source is a SQL server, so we can use an OLEDB source here. So I can just drag and drop the OLEDB source and I can configure the OLEDB source here. I need to make a connection to the work database or I can make the connection to any database on the SQL Server 2019 instance because I just want to connect to the server. I have a connection here which is connecting to the work database so that's fine. I can click on OK. And now under data access mode I can select SQL command here and then I can paste the SQL command. So I can copy the SQL query from here and paste it here and if you check the column so it is showing three columns to us okay and if you want to preview the data as well then you can click on preview and you can see the data whatever data will be exported so you can click on close okay and now because we want to write the data to a csv file so we need to use the flat file destination so we can just drag and drop the flat file destination into data flow task and we can connect the OLEDB source with the flat file destination i can right click and configure the flat file destination click new to create a new flat file connection the format is delimited so that's good i can click on ok and then i can just browse the files so i want to export the data here so the first of all i need to create an empty file here so maybe i can call my file as database size dot csv so this is the empty file now i can go back to the ssis package and i can just simply browse that particular file file type will be csv and i can just select this particular file click open column names in the first data row yes and yeah i can click on ok and if you click on mapping so you can see that all input columns have been mapped with the destination column so this is good you can click on ok so our ssi package is ready to be run and if you click on the start button then this should export the data from the sql server table to the csv file you can go back to the d files location and for example, if you try to see the data in the text pad or in any editor, then you can see that this is the name of the databases and the size of the database in MB and the size of the database in GB. So this is how you can export the data to a CSV file. Now there was a sub question like how to schedule your SSIS package. So I think I have already created a video on like schedule SSIS package. So if you see this particular thing, so you can see a video here schedule SSIS package in SQL Server agent. So here I have shown you in the detail like how you can schedule an SSIS package. And if you want to send the, this particular file through an email, then I have created a video in like send mail task in SSIS, send mail task. So if you can see this particular video, then I have shown you like how to use the send mail task. So in the send mail task, there is an option attachment. So you can just simply browse the file the csv file that you want to send the in the attachment and you should be able to send the file through sendwell task and i will share this particular script with you so that you can use it in your environment as well so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much